Well, it's a, it's a funny story, really. Not a funny one, but a strange story. It's, uh, um, <clears throat> I was at work. I used to do uh, electric welding, arc welding. And the, 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 the place where I worked was a, was a sheet metal work factory. And they used to cut the metal and send it to me to weld. And it happened that the person who was supposed to be doing all the cutting didn't, didn't come into work. So they asked me if I'd do it, otherwise I'd be sitting around, you know, twiddling my thumbs, basically. So um, I said, I've, I've never done it before. And I said, well, would, would you, you know, we'll show you what to do and whatever. And uh, <clears throat> so they started doing it. And, and um, this thing just come down on my hand. And it, it trapped my hand. And, and your reaction to pull your hand back, I just pulled the ends off. And, uh, and that was that. Uh, and strangely enough, I was going to leave that job the next day. Well, on that day, as a matter of fact, I wasn't going to go in on the afternoon. I went back home, I said to my mother, I said, oh, I'm not going in this afternoon. And she went, you go in, you go to work. You go to work. So I went in and, and that's what happened. So uh, I, I went ahead and tried to make myself something. And I did, I made some tips out of a squeezy bottle. I, I melted it down into a ball and um, Little little ball like that, and then I got a hot old uh, soldering iron and pushed the pushed it through, and then I, I made it fix onto my fingers, and I sat there all night then rubbing it down so it had shaped like a finger, and then I had to put a piece of leather on so to grip the strings because otherwise you know just slip off, and it was just something I developed over that period, and then I could it enabled me to be able to play. <laughs>